Hello students, I am Sarika. Previously, we have learned about compound interest. Let us recall compound interest. Compound interest is the interest calculated on the principal and the interest accumulated over the previous period. It is different from simple interest where interest is not added to the principal while calculating the interest during the next period. Today, we are going to learn the applications of the compound interest formula and the difference between compound interest and simple interest. After completion of this lesson, you will be able to know to be able to find the interest by using the compound interest formula. To find the difference between compound interest and simple interest for 2 years and 3 years. Keywords from this lesson are interest, increase, decrease, depreciation, simple interest, compound interest, annually, half yearly, quarterly, principal, rate of interest and time period. Applications of compound interest formula. The compound interest formula is used in the following situation. First one to find the increase that is P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power of N or decrease P into 1 minus R by 100 to the power of N in population. Second one to find the growth of cells when the rate of growth is given. Third one to find the depreciation in the value of machines, vehicles, utility, appliances, etc. Let us solve some example problem. The value of motorcycle 2 years ago was rupees 70,000. It depreciates at the rate of 4 percent per annum. Find its present value. Let us solve. Depreciated value is equal to P into 1 minus R by 100 to the power of N. While substituting the values 70,000 into 1 minus 4 by 100 to the power of 2 that is 70,000 into 96 by 100 into 96 by 100. After cancelization and multiplication, we will get rupees 64,512. The present value is rupees 64,512. Let us solve one more example. The bacteria in a culture grows by 5 percent in the first hour, decreases by 8 percent in second hour and again increases by 10 percent in the third hour. Find the count of bacteria at the end of 3 hours. If initial count was 10,000. Let us solve. Bacteria at the end of 3 hours will be 
a is equal to p into 1 plus a by 100 into 1 plus b by 100 into 1 plus c by 100. So, 10,000 into 1 plus 5 by 100 into 1 minus 8 by 100 into 1 plus 10 by 100 minus because decrease. So, 10,000 into 105 by 100 into 92 by 100 into 110 by 100. After cancellation and multiplication, we will get amount is equal to 10,626. The count of bacteria at the end of 3 hours is 10,626. Let us take one more example. The population of town is increasing at the rate of 6 percent per annum. It was 2 lakhs 38,765 in the year 2018. Find the population in the year 2016 and 2020. Let us solve. Let the population in 2016 be P. Then A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power of N. Substituting the values we will get 2 lakhs 38,765 is equal to P into 1 plus 6 by 100 to the power of 2. That is P into 53 by 50 whole square. After transposing P is equal to 2 lakhs 38,765 into 53 by 50 into 53 by 50. After cancellation and multiplication, we will get P is equal to 2 lakhs 12,500. So, the population in the 2016 is 2 lakhs 12,500. Let the population in 2020 be A. Then A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power of N. A is equal to 2 lakhs 38,765 into 1 plus 6 by 100 whole square. After doing LCM, we are getting 2 lakhs 38,765 into 53 by 50 into 53 by 50. After multiplication, 95.506 into 53 into 53 that gives 2 lakhs 68,000 276. The population in the year 2016 was 2 lakhs 12,500 and in the year 2020 will be 2 lakhs 68,276. Let us take another example. Find the compound interest on Rupees 3200 at 2.5% per annum for 2 years, compounded annually. So, 
solution principal P is equal to rupees 3200. Rate of interest R is equal to 2.5 percent per annum. N is equal to 2 years compounded annually. Therefore, amount A is equal to 1 plus R by 100 to the power of N. Amount A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 to the power of N. By substituting the values 3200 into 1 plus 2.5 by 100 whole square. That is 3200 into 1.025 whole square. After multiplication, we will get 3362. Compound interest C i is equal to amount minus principal that is 3362 minus 3200 that gives rupees 162. Difference between compound interest and simple interest. There is a no difference in compound interest and simple interest for the first year or the first conversion period. For two years, the difference between compound interest and simple interest is C i minus S i is equal to P into R by 100 whole square. For three years, the difference between compound interest and simple interest is C i minus S i is equal to P into R by 100 whole square into 3 plus R by 100. Let us take another example. Find the difference between compound interest and simple interest for first one principal is equal to 5000 rate of interest R is equal to 4 percent per annum the time N is equal to 2 years. Second one P is equal to 8000 rate of interest R is equal to 5 percent per annum the time n is equal to 3 years. Solution first one for 2 years compound interest minus simple interest is equal to P into R by 100 whole square that is 5000 into 4 by 100 into 4 by 100 that gives rupees 8. Second one, for 3 years compound interest minus simple interest is equal to P into R by 100 whole square into 3 plus R by 100. By substituting the values, we get 8000 into 5 by 100 into 5 by 100 into 3 plus 5 by 100. After taking LCM and cancellation, we will get 20 into 61 by 20 that gives rupees 61. Let us take another example. Find the difference between the compound interest and simple interest for 2 years for a principal of rupees 5000 at the rate of interest 8 percent per annum. Solution The difference between simple interest and compound interest is given by the formula compound interest minus simple interest is equal to P into R by 100 whole square. 
here principal P is equal to 5000, rate of interest R is equal to 8 percent per annum. Therefore, C i minus S i is equal to 5000 into 8 by 100 whole square. That gives 5000 into 8 by 100 into 8 by 100. After cancellation and multiplication, we will get rupees 32. Another example, find the difference between compound interest and simple interest on rupees 5000 for one year at 2 percent per annum if the interest is compounded of yearly. Solution, principal P is equal to 5000, time period N is equal to 1 year, rate of interest R is equal to 2 percent per annum. For how fairly R is equal to 1 percent? The difference between compound interest and simple interest is given by the formula C i minus S i is equal to P into R by 100 whole to the power of 2 n for how fairly compounding. Therefore, C i minus S i is equal to 5000 into 1 by 100 to the power of 2 into 1 that gives 5000 into 1 by 100 into 1 by 100 that gives rupees 0 0.50. Summary of the lesson, compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. The simple interest and the compound interest remain the same for the first year or the first conversion period. For two years, the difference between compound interest and simple interest is C i minus S i is equal to P into R by 100 whole square. For three years, the difference between compound interest and simple interest is C i minus S i is equal to P into R by 100 whole square into 3 plus R by 100. 